Okay, I'm going to demo how to do it, and then I'm going to help you do it. Okay. So, are we in a good spot with the camera there? Excellent. So what I'm going to do, and I'm trying to get this on camera, is I'm going to take my masking tape, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rip off a bunch of pieces about yay long and stick them on the side of my table. Maybe three or four. I like long pieces. And then I'm going to rip some shorter ones like this. Stick them on the side of my table. Then I'm going to take a nice, uh, I don't know, two, three page section of the newspaper. I'm going to go two pages of the newspaper. Um, and you don't want to use like the slick ads for this, they tend to not work very well. Uh, because the clay doesn't kind of sink into them very well. If you have, I have a very tall, I have a very tall armature, uh, which is unnecessarily tall for what we're doing. I can just use this to wrap around. If you have a short or regular armature, then you can do this by just folding the paper in half and going around this way. So all you're going to do is Take that newspaper and wrap it around so that you're creating a pad on the pipe or on the stick. And the, and the reason we do this is so that the clay has a little bit of squish to uh, shrink into, but also so it doesn't shrink and like weld itself to the armature post. Okay? So I know on my tall armature here, it's not covering it all the way. You're going to cover yours all the way, okay? So when you do this, hold on, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the whole thing, and then I'm going to like do it. This should slip a little bit. It should slip a little bit, but not, you know, be crazy loose or puppy, okay? So this is the next part. It's really fun. Depending on your hand size and your hand strength, you might change this up. But again, I'm going to take about two sheets, and here's how I like to explain this. I'm sitting down on the park bench or wherever you read the newspaper, which maybe people don't do anymore. And I get up, so I fold the newspaper over. And then I see something, I'm thinking still, so I fold the newspaper over again. Right? And then I'm like, that story I read really pissed me off. I mean, sorry. That story I read really made me upset. So I'm going to fold the paper over again. And then I'll be like, oh my god, I can't get over it. I'm going to fold it over again. Okay. So I just kept folding that thing in half until it's about yay white. Then I'm going to grab it in the middle, fold those sides in. And I'm going to like essentially roll it up until it's a little like lid like that. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape and cinch it to the top. Okay. Like so. But one thing about this. This side, the flat side, is your face in the back of the head. So if you have an armature that's wider one direction, right, you need to decide where your face goes. Point it towards whatever the most open side of your armature is. Like mine has this, this is wider, so I'm going to point my face this way. If your armature is very wide, think of the wide part as being shoulders and face away. In the end, we're not going to be able to turn this, so you want to put it in the right direction. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to fold my paper. I'm going to fold it again. I'm going to fold it again. 
and once again. Okay, and then this time, I see that how that makes it like a long, long, skinny rainbow. I don't want that. I'm trying to make a circle. And so I'm going to keep folding those corners up. Okay. Like that. And this time when I cinch the bottom of that in, see how it's getting, it's more circular shapes than rainbow shape. Okay. Okay, one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So, this time, this is probably going to be my last one for this size of a head. It's a little bit bigger than half my fist. So, <clears throat> I'm going to make a decision. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to start to create the idea of a facial plane on this side. Can you see that? On this side. By only folding in one edge. And I'm going to create a little light loop on the end of it like that. Okay? And then I'm going to hook that. Right, so I start to build this a facialish plane idea, and this is riding a little higher, like the occipital load. So now, if you, this is a good time to ask a friend for help. Right, if you work together doing this, a lot of times it works out better because you really want to put the squeeze on this stuff. Right? We don't want it to flex too much or else when you start to put the clay on it, clay will not even flex. So we want this nice and squozy. Now, what I'm going to do, I've got that, it's still centered on the post, great, it looks a little bit like a skull shape. I'm going to take a couple of these long ones and I'm going to run it down like that. And I'm going to run one down this way. And then... What I like to do is go around right underneath the neck like this, just to keep that from blowing up. And, yeah, nice and secure. So that's my finished head armature for about a half size head. Ooh, narrower, more circular. About two thirds as wide as it is deep, okay? All right.